back to frosty okay i couldn't make videos for two to three months cause i had to study for sa1 okay not just a second this video is on how to study for ntsc let me say one thing i am not an ntsc scholar and my results are not out still so the first most important thing is that okay i don't want you people to repeat the mistakes which i have done for studying for ntsc okay so start studying for ntsc okay if you are seeing this video in your ninth standard summer vacation or in your ninth standard please start studying from ninth standard summer vacation for ntsc cause it requires a lot of hard work i just started studying from one month and i couldn't finish it yeah very honestly i couldn't finish it so if you start studying from your summer vacation start studying all the subjects okay okay let me say the paper is of two parts mental ability and sat yeah scholastic aptitude test so mental ability uh, you can go through many question papers of all the years and uh, i'm from karnataka so i'll send you some question papers i'll send you a link below uh, dscrt.kar.nic.in also website and i'll send you the books plus question papers which you can refer for your in as your ntsc material so this mental ability it it has like different types of questions uh, some questions are of cube uh, the cube type they give three sides of cube and they ask you know three or four sides of cube and they'll ask you if you turn this way what what dimension you get and all those stuff and others are uh, number questions and some are finding the day okay they give you 1932 of this month what's the day okay finding the day and some tricky questions mental ability is not so tricky but if you practice a lot it's it's very easy to face okay mental ability is not so tricky but when you come to physics max biology and chemistry that is scholastic aptitude test you need to go through only i'm saying you only the uh, puc or the state board books yeah the state board books state board 10th standard books for karnataka i'll send you the materials uh, link below and uh so you just need to go through all these books physics there's not a lot of problem solving questions it's all of theory questions biology is fully theory of course there's nothing for solving and max you need to solve from okay not only from your pu books even from your cbse and ics or whatever uh curriculum you have okay and uh, you need to solve a lot of questions for max because you need to know lot of different types of questions in max and the main part okay which i missed out on scholastic aptitude test is social studies and the most crucial part of ntsc and why i asked you to start studying from your ninth standard sum, um, summer vacation is this social has 40 marks okay in scholastic aptitude test out of 100 40 marks is of social so if you just think like okay if i get full marks in any all the other subjects like physics maths and chemistry and bio then it's okay if i chuck uh, social studies no it's not okay 40 marks you lose 40 marks out of 150 it's 110 it's not the qualifying marks so social studies is very important and you need to fully by heart your state board books it would be better if you get a book from a friend or from your library because you need to by heart the whole book and you need to learn the whole book and it's not easy to learn by reading it once you need to read it at least twice to remember all the points so so social studies is also uh, a bit tough physics i told you chemistry also you need to learn only theory part chemistry physics and biology only from your puc books i mean state board books sorry state board books okay you can refer your NC- ncert if you have any doubt max ncert icse or pu books yeah it would be better to see what not chapters you have in your state board books and then follow it with your ncert uh that's it and you prepare well give a lot of time for ntsc i mean i'm not saying you to give the whole day for ntsc at least 2 hours per day for ntsc or 1 hour per day for ntsc in the end i know if you're taking cbse it's very hard to get at least even 1 hour a day for studying if any other uh, competitive exam but just try so all the best people